Hello and welcome. I wanted to come on and do some energy healing for the solar eclipse. I'm in a very, well, sitting in the middle of a river. <laughs> and somehow, a man in the dog, I looked up right when I was alive and there they were, crossing <laughs> right there on the big rock I'm sitting. I hope you guys are having a great day. Are you all able to see me okay? Because this is a new spot, I'm back home, but I wanted to be outside today for the eclipse energy and bring in that beautiful sun. Thank you so much for your subscription and you will enter into the drawing the end of the month on the 30th for a free session. So, I appreciate all of your shares, your likes, as that helps me in the algorithm. <clears throat> and I appreciate your support. And you never know who could use some healing today. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning. So just breathe, receive on this beautiful day. The solar eclipse. What a powerful day of bringing together both the sun and the moon. Unity, balancing both that masculine and feminine energy. So I wanted to bring in the beautiful sun energy and water. So hopefully you can hear that beautiful water. We are literally sitting in a uh, creek. <laughs> I came here yesterday and I had good reception so I came back today, wanted to go in a different spot but we had lots of rain. And um, so my sitting spots are a little A lot of the places were covered in water, but found this spot, and I don't know, if, as soon as I came on, I don't even know where these people came from, to be quite honest. All of a sudden, I look up, and there's a man and his dog, but like a big old beagle dog, right in front of me, and they had to cross right on the one rock, because it's all water. <laughs> I'm going to turn it really fast, so you can kind of see, I also feel like this is like a, a little bit of a portal energy. So this is where we are, and I'm literally in the middle of the creek. This is a bridge, and I just feel like this is a crossing, a portal, bringing in that beautiful energy. So just some gentle breaths and receive today. Today is an amazing day to release and let go. So a lot of us have been moving through some of these turbulent energies of releasing, letting go, allowing what no longer serves us to come up to the forefront, to release and to bring in new vibrancy. It is a great day to manifest and bring in that new energy.
starting on that root at the base of your spine. That grounding, we are grounding our energy into the earth, water. I'm sitting on a large rock surrounded by water, trees around us. So really grounding us in for this new frequency, high vibration coming in. Our root chakra all about balance, feeling grounded, safe, protected, anchored, and in our body. And let's go ahead and release anything within that root that might be holding us back. Good morning, Chelsea. Good morning. I'm excited to see you soon. Chelsea was the winner of our last month uh, free session. So I'm excited to see her for her session. So releasing anything that no longer serves you, releasing it into these beautiful waters, allowing it to drift, transmute. And bringing in all of these light codes, energy of the solar eclipse, this new moon in Aries, the fire energy. So we really have all the elements. We have that fire, the sun, we have the water, the divine feminine. We have the earth energy of the rocks, the trees surrounding us. And we have the beautiful air, the breeze. My screen is going dark, so I'm not going to be able to probably see very many comments, I think, because it's, the sun is hitting it, so it's probably getting heated. Let's go ahead and set. Thank you. I did see that. Sorry, I couldn't see the name. Thank you for your subscription. And we will enter into the drawing on the 30th of this month for a energy healing session. If you may. So let's bring in what is it that you want to manifest, bring in in the root. So root is all about our survival, money, finance job, our home, our survival needs, moving forward in the direction. So really set the intention. What is it that you want? And let's set that. Really hold that energy. What would it feel like? Thank you, Paul. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate you. And you will enter as well. I hope to buy my first home soon. All right, Paul. Well, yes, bringing in that energy. So this is a perfect time to bring in what we want. So let's think about it. Really set that intention and really feel what it would feel like to have that new home, to have that new job, to have you know that financial freedom, abundance, to travel, to have our needs met. Um, maybe it's simply just moving forward in life. Yeah. All right, let's bring that in. Hold that energy. What would that feel like to receive that, to have that? I'm going to let this airplane pass.
soaring to new heights with that airplane energy, traveling around the world. I don't know what it is. Woohoo, yeah! All right, let's bring that in. And I'm going to bring in some gorgeous pyrite, that gold, energy, heart, love, essence. Pyrite is protection, it's grounding, it's abundance, it's prosperity. It is that fire energy and those little cracks within the heart. How the light gets in. Are you all able to hear the water behind? And I wore my, I had, I got this new sweater that I absolutely love, but out here it's pretty dirty and I was afraid I'd mess it up, but I wanted to do the orange and black, the eclipse, the brightness, bringing those two together. So balancing that root, you are safe, you are grounded, you are protected, you are abundant, you move forward easily towards your goals, your dreams. You are provided for your needs, your survival needs are met with flow, with abundance. You are in this moment, this present moment, and beautiful new energy to come. You are rooted, safe be able to elevate even higher. I think I love that. All right, let's move up to the sacral, the beautiful. Ooh, I have lots of sacral energy going on. Ooh, it is that water. We're surrounded by the beautiful water energy, the moon. So again, we have that union the sun and the moon, the divine masculine and feminine flowing in together in all complete totality in the sense that they are united. It is the balance, it is the flow. So right now, just moving that energy with the water. We have the water moving downstream, following the path of the least resistance. The water energy represents our emotions. It represents creativity, joy, the pleasures of life, inspiration, Letting go of the need to control and bringing in what is it that you want to bring in, what is it that you want to create, to birth, to bring to life in this solar eclipse, in this new moon. Thinking about that. and not controlling on how that comes in, that we need to trust that the universe knows is smarter, is more intelligent than we are, and we have to trust that however that comes in will be for our highest good. And when we let go, miraculous things can 
let go of, I will only do it if this happens, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And we put that goal in this box. We need to release, break that open, and just be open to receive. The divine feminine is all about receiving. Trusting to receive the energy, trusting to receive the beautiful gifts, the abundance, the prosperity, the joy. Abundance does not have to just mean financial, it's abundance of love, abundance of happiness, abundance of creativity, of inspiration, abundance of laughter, of good health. And knowing that on a fruit tree, the last thing to grow is the fruit. So being patient, allowing, trusting. So let's plant those seeds. What is it that you want to birth? Is it a new project? Is it a new venture? Is it traveling? Is it a new relationship? A new job? A new home? Is it fertility? Is it joy, happiness, what is it? Set that intention and feel that energy. Bring that in. All right. Let's go ahead. Place in your mind, take a nice breath in. Bringing that energy into the womb space bringing that energy and to birth and bring to life in our world. The coming together. They say, the Native Americans say, the making love of the sun and the moon because they are together, they merge. So, fertility creating that energy. I'm going to set my intention. Bring in that love, abundance, protection, and knowing that receiving these beautiful gifts for our highest good always. this beautiful bridge. I'm going to show it again. And the representation. So I chose this spot on purpose for bridges, right? They are getting us from one side to the other. They're 
getting us from one side to the other, the bridge, the path. So helping us in this solar eclipse, this portal energy, getting us from one side to the other, of where we are now to where we want to be. As the water moves downstream, knowing that we are safe, that the foundation is strong. So moving up to that solar plexus energy, fire, it is the sun, the beautiful sun energy, the fire energy, the fire energy of Aries, the new moon in Aries. Fire is all about that passion. It is all about um, transmuting any fear energy, releasing, transforming. Think of the phoenix rising from the ashes. The phoenix rise, even more beautiful than before. And in this eclipse, in that darkness, in that period where it's felt the energy has been heavy and this crumbling and this emerging from that we rise, our energy even more beautiful than before. It is a time of transformation, of creating, of bringing in what you want and staying focused on that. And even today, finding something simple. I am grateful, I am grateful for the sun, the warmth, I'm grateful for this cup of coffee or this food that I have, I am grateful for the roof over my head, the clean water I have to drink, the food on my table, my family. The more that we are grateful that we can find one tiny little thing, we resonate with that vibration to bring more in. And that's what we want to do today. Releasing fear, releasing, it's about bringing in that beauty, that light. And the butterfly from the darkness, we emerge. beautiful light codes from the rays of the sun into that solar plexus, helping with your confidence, your self-esteem, knowing you are worthy, you are strong, you are powerful, your light is needed in this world, and that you can move forward in whatever direction that you want to go with tenacity, with confidence, with joy. That is um, a sun race. I don't know if you can. It's from the sun. It's like a beam of light. The sun is.
like to me. this balancing, <laughs> had it balancing on the rock just so Confidence issues, any sluggish energy, any worry, fear, anything that you're holding, releasing that. Bringing that fire energy to transmute, to burn away, to release, to transform. Bringing in that vibrancy, the vitality, the strength, the confidence, the power, the beauty, the light. the sun energy it's grounding as well as protective abundance knowing that you are just like this beautiful golden energy bringing that energy in refilling your cup your light so that you are brighter and like that phoenix rise even more beautiful than before and it is our adversities it is our struggles it is our pain that sometimes we go through that then allows for those moments of beauty and joy to be even brighter it is the contrast, and that is exactly what this solar eclipse is about. The contrast, the light, the dark, the shadow. The light is always there. The light is always there. But sometimes we have to go through the depths, the shadow, to emerge, to appreciate that beauty. They say smooth waters do not make good sailors. Sometimes you have to have those rocky, rough learning experiences. Let's bring in what is it that you want more of in that solar plexus area, that fire energy, that passion, that, um, yeah, knowing that you are worthy, uh, 
Yeah, being able to stand in your light, in your brightness. I'm gonna wait, I have someone honking. <laughs> so of course, since I am right by a bridge, I have lots of cars that go by here. I'm somewhat camouflaged, although I decided to wear the brightest color, but I still think it's hilarious that literally on the other side, I will show you here in a minute. I, my eyes were closed. I looked up and there was literally a man in the middle of this river and the dog. I have, I, I have absolutely no idea where they came from. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> it was like, oh, and then they had a cross right here. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so solar plexus energy, that gold energy, that powerful energy, our vibrancy, our vitality, our fire, our worth. We are worthy, we are powerful, we are deserving. Standing in our light, walking into that room, ooh yeah, owning it. Not dimming it down, owning it. us to new heights. Let's move to that throat chakra. Beautiful, light blue aquamarine energy. Oh, wait, I skipped over the heart. <laughs> well, we gotta go to the heart first. Sometimes I do that, it's funny, and even in sessions, not, not often, but sometimes I will. And a lot of times it's like I have to open the throat before I can get to the heart. Um, we're going to start on the heart. Opening up that beautiful heart light of yours, green pink energy. Today we're going to see that beautiful heart energy chakra as pink, allowing that yellow golden energy to penetrate our heart turning it to rose gold energy surrounding us in beautiful loving love you back rose gold energy rose is the highest frequency vibration of power essence it represents the divine feminine that beautiful goddess energy mother mary lady of guadalupe goddess isis mary magdalene so many different goddess energy of that beautiful rose goddess sophia Again, it is that union of the divine masculine and divine feminine. And balancing that within ourselves, the our masculine and our feminine energy. We need 
people. We need both masculine and feminine for balance. And our world needs that as well. It's been out of balance for some time. beautiful essence of love, unconditional love, healing, forgiveness, compassion, beauty, and being open to receive. Receive the blessings. Open to receive. Our hands are out to receive. So many times we forget how to receive. Receiving is feminine. Receiving. And not putting constraints on how we will receive or how it has to go our way or this exact. I keep on talking about that. That puts it, it, it puts a lot of limits on our goals. We have to be open to trust. I'll do it if this happens and this and this and only if this and only if this. And it's like, well, sometimes the universe has to, certain things have to happen before, right? So we just have to be open and have that childlike energy, that trust, that joy. Ready to receive. I trust. Bringing in that beautiful rose gold energy, that lion heart energy, having heart of gold. Love is the greatest healer. You think about that. Love, the power that love holds, it, you know, think of a mother or a father protecting someone that they love. If there's any type of fear, that love, that protection will always win. They don't even they don't even care. It's like if their loved one is in danger of some they're there it's gone because that love is so strong. It's a beautiful, powerful thing. Love is the most powerful. And it always will. Love always wins. So let's bring more. I'm gonna wait for now a big bus. <laughs> All right, let's bring in more of that. Yes, please, that beautiful rose gold energy, love essence, bringing love into your life receiving all the beautiful gifts, knowing that you are worthy of all the gifts that life has to offer. And opening your hands to receive, to open that heart, open those hands, to say, yes, 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 we're my highest good, yes. Yes, more please. So when something good happens, you can just say to the universe, yes, more please. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna move up to the throat. Right, 
moving up to that throat. Beautiful throat chakra. Ah, thank you for being a part of the team. And if you are new here, welcome. Thanks for being here. And um, yeah, happy solar eclipse day. What a beautiful, powerful day. And thanks for being on here with me. Sit back, relax, and receive. So clearing any throat chakra issues, allowing you to speak your truth, your needs, and connecting that, that truth, that heart and throat energy, expressing yourself, expressing yourself, your needs, your wants, your dreams, your desires, expressing it from your heart, putting it out into the universe, out into the universe. is going to know what it is that we need unless we tell them. We can think people are smart, which, but a lot of times, <laughs> oh, really? they were angry or you're upset or I had no idea. Well, I mean, we, <laughs> you have to tell, you have to tell the universe, you have to tell people you love, you have to use your voice, speak your truth, speak it into the universe, speak it what is it that you want? And be clear. Well, I could do here. Don't be wishy-washy. State it. State it. Be open to receive however it's to come in for your highest name. Speak it as it's already happened. I am so excited that I got that house. I am so happy. You know, think of it, it's the energy. It's it's like, you know, you can't, you, you gotta have, that's what gives it the momentum. Someone want a motorcycle? Because the motorcycle is just coming by. Revving its engine. Releasing any toxic energy that stifles that, that suppresses, that controls, that shoves that energy down. Releasing that.
All right, let's clear that throat, bringing in again anything around the throat. Maybe you are um, a singer, an artist, uh, maybe you're a public speaker, uh, bringing that energy uh, into the world. Maybe you just need to speak your truth, uh, express how you feel. But it is important, speak into the universe, speak what it is that you need and want, knowing that you are worthy. Okay? Getting close. Let's see. I have 872 people on the team. My goal, my goal right now is a thousand. And to get to a thousand, that would be a nice milestone. And a hundred subscribers. There's another milestone. And I appreciate your love, your support, as that helps me be on here and to do what it is that I love to do. I would not be able to do this without you. If you are new here, uh, I do repost my lives to YouTube. Um, so you can always find them there. I do go on at different times because I do work full time. So uh, I come on whenever I can, usually uh, two to three times a week, sometimes more. J it just depends, it just depends. But you can always find me on YouTube and then also on Instagram. So uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Everything is in my bio, as well as sessions, distance, in person classes. You name it, it's there. And remember, this is my only account. I will never DM you unless you win the free drawing if you're a subscriber at the end of the month. Um, but other than that, it's my only account and I will not message you, okay? I'll respond to you if you message me. All right, let's move up to that third eye and crown. I'm gonna really clear this energy to allow you to expand your beautiful light, your beautiful aura. Bringing in clarity and peace, focus, connecting with that intuition and that higher consciousness, knowing we are all connected, me to you, you to me, the earth, the beautiful water, the trees, we are all connected and sometimes we forget that. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I felt like a little Oh, it did. I was like, something just, of course, right when I'm on the crown, there's a lot of energy that just broke. So now my hair is going to be looking crazy. My rubber band literally went wonk. I guess my crown popped open a little too much. How funny is that? Wow. All right. Try and twist it. A wild one. Work. All right, that's okay. See, the universe even has a sense of humor. <laughs> we're breaking, we're breaking the, the, the restraints. Bring in new energy. We're breaking the ceiling. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> breaking the glass. Breaking the ceiling.
is that butterfly energy transformation. Bringing in those beautiful light codes, that solar eclipse energy, frequency, essence. us to new heights. Moving my hair to new heights. <laughs> oh my. All right, well, and my battery's going low. So the crown said, let me out. I know it's like, Wah! the energy went pop. I'm going to just pop it off. <laughs> uh, all right. So let, let me, before my battery dies here. Oh, hello little bugs. All right. Well, I'm going to dong. We'll see if you want to stay or. All right. So for the third eye and crown, Opening that space, indigo, purple in color. Did he fly? I think he flew. Let's bring in. <laughs> Let's bring in that golden light energy. Oh, your golden crown. Straighten up that crown. Be ready to receive. Allow it to drop into your beautiful heart of gold putting it out into the universe, this healing rose gold energy surrounding you, connecting heaven and earth, heaven and earth. Lovely. How we feeling? Here, I'll show you. Um, <laughs> so if you guys were on, like right before I, I went on, I got all set up and then um, I looked, at, I don't even know how it's possible. To be quiet, I, I don't even know how it's possible. I literally looked down, got something out of my bed, looked up and there was a man standing <laughs> in front of me and I'm in the middle of a river and then his dog and there's nowhere to cross, like where I am, there's nowhere to cross. I don't even, so I'll show you where I am and then where he came from. And you can tell me, where did he come from? I'll show you. I'll show you. All right, so let me flip this. Okay, on here on this rock. All right, he came. This is, this is what we're sitting in. And like, I'm in the middle of a river and I have, this is, this is the surrounding area. This is behind me. And he came somewhere from over here <laughs> and was standing right there on that rock and then came over to mine. I don't know. <laughs> and he wasn't there. Like, I don't even know how I wouldn't see him crawling. I mean, it's very, um, it, it, it's not like if there's a path. It, I have no idea. I literally have no clue. <laughs> and then, and then the dog had to come here because I'm on just the rock. See, it's just, it's like, oh, oh, hi. where, where, where'd she come from? There. <laughs> Yeah, 
an angel, an angel with a big, huge, cute, um, uh, oh, what are those basset hounds? And he was slow with his big floppy ears and he had to climb and he thought, oh God, he's gonna, hey, come on. <laughs> here, here we are. Where, where the heck did you come from? I don't know. See, you never know. All right, well, let's, let's go over each chakra again. Bringing, balancing, bringing in that pyrite fire. Oh, I have one other thing. I'm, how much stuff do I have left? Oh, my phone's about ready to die. See, that's what happens. All right, root chakra. Sacral, solar, heart, throat, third eye, crown, bringing in that beautiful sun, eclipse, fire, energy, balance of the divine masculine, feminine, the unity, and the new moon, that fiery Aries energy, bringing to life, our dreams, our goals, our manifestations, and so it is. Okay, and I brought a few things. I thought it would be fun. So I love uh, plant essence. I love their energy that they hold. And so, gift to the beautiful earth, the water, and we'll let it go downstream. The first thing I have, and we'll set an intention, is, you guys see it? Rose. Beautiful rose, the highest vibration. I'm going to let this airplane pass again. 